Welcome back, friends. Hello. A Red's Quest. What a game. What a game. We are here today with uh, the developers, the Dreamarians, uh, Jesse and Rob, to be precise, uh, from Mexico. They decided to join us, and um, we'll switch right over to them. And uh, let's have a little talk about Red's Quest and the Dreamarian Game Studio. Exactly. Exactly. Hi, friends. Sure. How are you doing? Hello. We're doing great. We're doing great. Awesome. A little bit early here in Mexico. It's like 6 30 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is. No, but it's all good. Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's also a good time to be streaming with you guys. <laughs> awesome. That's very good. Thanks for Glad making it. So, here. we kind of made like a little travel here from Berlin to Mexico. So, yes. what we will do basically today is just to talk about our dear developers from Mexico who are also probably curious how game development is working in Mexico because yeah I mean sure there are probably video games coming out of Mexico but Mexico is probably not the, the, the country known best for video games so this will be interesting sure. this will be interesting sure. what you guys will have to talk but maybe let's first start with a simple introduction Jesse who are you and what are you doing at the Dreamarians? Okay um, so I'm the studio manager at the Dreamarians. I do environment art, modeling, texturing, um, uh, story too. It's mm. like a combination of tons of things, like any indie developer, yeah. <laughs> basically. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's right. Well, a lot yeah. of hats. A lot of hats. Yeah. And myself, I'm the studio director and founder, and I do. Uh, Level design, game design in general, some some modeling work and animation, um, art direction, that kind of thing as well. Some some hats here and there. Yeah. You guys are busy, right? Busy people. Hello, yes. Yeah. <laughs> what you're doing? I would suppose so. No, very That's what we're doing. Yeah. Very quick interruption. Yeah, we've, we've already gotten four or five comments about the uh, about people loving your hair, Jesse. <laughs> Fabulous. All right. Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. All Go good. On. No, no, no. I mean, any compliment is welcome. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Wonderful. Now, how many people are working at the Dreamarians? Maybe we can uh, fire up one of the team photos. Absolutely. What the, 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 the game is, uh, the game, the company is about. Exactly. So you started out as the haiku studio, right? So that's another story oh, yes. that, that we right. might want to get into. So uh, <laughs> let's talk about that. What happened? <laughs> sure. Well, you guys happened actually. That was that was one of the big things. <laughs> you guys <laughs> yeah, was... happening. Absolutely. Not too long ago, I think it was um, uh, the start of May. The the Dreamarians turned one year old. We we have been working together some of us for, uh, for i don't know it was um, seven odd years as Tyco studio mm -hmm. and we we changed the name of the company about a year ago it was a turning point we knew we were getting ourselves into something amazing or something different it was the right moment and so we we, we switched over yeah actually when we were hike studio we were four people it's danny Josue was there in the photos, yeah. um, myself, and we grew yeah. tons, like, yeah, we're definitely. 90 right now. Oh, well, there's a family. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And, of course, we want to mention everybody's name because they're going to be excited. <laughs> so, we have to go through that. I'll go Very for good. it. Go, go for, for it. it. <laughs> yes. okay. um, so, it's, uh, so it's uh, Eugenia, which is... Uh, She's my mom. Mom, I love you. I <laughs> <laughs> we get one of these, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's also Josue, Ale, Pablo, and Andres uh, for writing. Casiel, mm -hmm. um, Ricardo, Daniel, David, uh, Max. Yeah, and Giovanni, Javier, Andrea, Lian, Rafael, Luis, <laughs> and Alberto. That's that's all. That, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> that's, I, it's I grown didn't... a lot, but it's still like very tightly knit, familial yeah. kind of feeling. Yeah, I didn't count, but that's yeah. definitely more well, than four I people. Yep. <laughs> awesome. And we also want to make a disclaimer because um, as we're in Mexico City and we're near the suburbs, you may hear a roster. Like, roster. Roster. Yeah. Like, a roster. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's yeah, about it's about time for him to get up. Yeah. 
you literally yeah. just heard the rust. That's all me. good. That's all good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Daniel says, don't forget Matt. He's part of the team, obviously. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. Cool. There he is. Yeah, talking about Mexico. Um, what, what's it like being a game developer in Mexico? Is uh, over here in Europe, we have no real idea of uh, you know. We, I've never been to Mexico myself. I wish I was, but neither have I. Yeah. Maybe one day. Don't come. Mexico yeah. is really cool. I mean, we yeah. have um, really tasty food. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, awesome landscape, uh, biomes. Mexico yeah, is really, really cool to travel. And also, the Mexican video game industry is growing, definitely. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. it's easy like to sometimes like mess up and say big, small. It's it's growing. It's, growing. it's definitely mm -hmm. growing. It's, mm -hmm. it's, That's important. <laughs> absolutely. It is, it, is, it, is, it is. And it's growing healthy. It is. More studios, more games being... Uh, Colleges, more game jams, more more uh, university careers, more that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And also, Mexico has always been like a huge market for like the consumer market. The yeah, consumer sure. market. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So when no, you no, no, like developers. Yeah. So when, when, yeah. when you when you say that that it's all growing and stuff, um, when you like really found, founded the new company, do you? Do you feel that? So is there a lot more applicants coming in? So do you do you like see, okay, wow, so, so many new faces, so many new applicants that you can really feel it that it's like ramping up over the months? So it's just like... Oh, definitely. Oh, for sure. I mean, if, if I was to compare it, when I like first began, it was like just me in a way, and then it was Anfosue, and then Jesse Lola, to, to now, oh yeah, definitely. Just like more diverse uh, people with more experience, of course. From uh, different yes. careers, like different careers all over, tons of yeah. people go like, okay, I'm gonna study animation to, to, to make, make my ways. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. more and more people, talented people, looking for jobs in the game industry. So yeah. that's amazing. It's definitely changed for the better, for sure. Yeah, for sure. No, for sure. like them. Yeah, yeah, there they weren't uh, like that many events. They're more game focused. Game jams, so. Speaking of events, um, is there also any type of like bigger convention like Gamescom already in Mexico, or is this still too early for you guys? Maybe. <laughs> nothing, yeah, nothing quite as big as Gamescom. <laughs> but I mean, if 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 someone that's a developer is listening right now and they could go to one a year, that would be GammaCon at yeah. the north of the country. It's it's a really cool event. Also, anime. Uh, other stuff, but it's really video game focused. Yeah, because it's not too big. It's more like really focused on bringing developers from LA, from yeah. San Diego, with a lot of experience. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. Triple A studio, so that's the event. The yeah, absolutely. We also have Pixelatl, which is closer to uh, uh, to the capital, which is where we are right now, and it's it's a lot of fun as well. Uh, speakers from all over. Nice. So it's all growing. Really, really. It's good. It's, growing. it's it's a shame that you cannot be with us at Gamescom this year. It's such a shame. I, I hope really that we is. can hopefully make next it through year. these <laughs> difficult times, and then maybe next year we can yeah. all be together and have like, I think it's six or seven days of pure madness. I just, <laughs> yeah. You know, this is all great, and we're trying That's trying nice. our best to compensate and do it all digitally. But yeah. of course, having a big events in person like Gamescom would be very, very awesome. But for now, oh, we are stuck uh, with what, well, I mean stuck, not uh, meant in a you know demeaning manner, um, with the uh, India Arena booth online that we have going right yes. now, so where you can exactly. walk yeah. around. I mean, I hope you checked it out also too, that you can walk around, oh, check out the booths and all of that. Um, so this is working quite well. And also for this, um, we have a lot of stuff set up. So you can check out a Red's Quest, um, already on Steam, so you can wishlist the game there. Yes. So um, we have a Discord running. So visit it. If you have some more questions, our developers will be there for you. So you can ask questions in the chat directly, and our developers will answer it. Or anyone from our um, staff that knows about the question, of course, can also help you out there. So please visit it. I mean, we can also shoot it into uh, the yep. chat right now, yep, or yep, yep. maybe a little bit later. No, no, we'll do. We'll do. Ba bam! There we there have it. Go. 
Here all can... the links. All the links, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All the links you could ever. So want. yeah, after yeah. this short advertisement break, we can now maybe go back to the topic, right? Yeah, we still topic. have a little time left. Topic that game. The red, a red square. Yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> why? Why did you go for a rat as your main character? Oh. It, it, it's an amazing old story. I love. <laughs> yeah, it's it cool. The story starts in. A traffic jam. It's kind of crazy, right? A traffic jam in Mexico City. Who think that would happen? <laughs> um, yeah, in a traffic jam, it was my cousin Andres, which is working with us right now again. Uh, and I, uh, I'm super responsible, so I was driving, and I wasn't paying too much attention to him. And he was like, "Yeah, sci-fi bikes going up and down the pipe," and I was just like not getting it. Sticking to walls. Yeah, no. <laughs> so for some reason, I went. What you mean, like a rat going like sideways on the pipe and up and down, and it like sort of clicked for a moment. So, ev like eventually, 120 years later, after the traffic jam, we got to <laughs> home and we started like drawing and mechanics and this and the other, and it was a really fun moment, which we can still like draw from in a way. And even though it's not that racing mobile 2d game anymore it's something completely different there's still that vibe of scale and contrast and looking at a very ordinary world from very unique eyes which is well the eyes of matt the rat mm -hmm. yeah and also this idea this idea came like eight years ago maybe i've oh, been yeah. in the city like seven and a half years and mm -hmm. since i entered it was like one day we're gonna do a rat's quest. Yeah. <laughs> not now because we're not ready. <laughs> not yes. Yet. Awesome. awesome. It, it's Thank an idea you. that has been bold, uh, like uh, boiling for years. Boiling. Like, yeah. okay, so it's gonna be a 2D adventure platformer, and then it was like it was the 3D. game telling, like, make me 3D because, <laughs> and you... we just have to listen to the game, of right? Course. Do worst. you regret listening to the game going through? No, 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 that's, that's not. In, in very brief moments here and there, but in the end, we're always happy we have. Okay, yeah. awesome, awesome. Yeah. There's, more, there's more to Red's Quest, though, than just it being a platformer. There's a story behind the game as well, right? Absolutely, absolutely. My, my brother Pablo and uh, Andres, my cousin, and myself and Jesse have been working on the story. We we always wanted to get a story in there, and it was going to be a love story, like a like a two way love story between two characters. And you just get you're seeing Matt's story. You could have seen her story. Right now, we're focusing on 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 his side of the story. But yeah, there was always this thing about returning home. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. It's much of a journey from Matt going back to Nat mm -hmm. at the house was. Not uh, like waiting, like oh my god, oh, no, when no, no, gonna no. return? He ha she has no, her own bad. story, but yeah, it's, it's really amazing how they two look together in the game. Mm -hmm. We know how we do. <laughs> <laughs> I think we will have still a lot of you know events coming up, but we should oh, yeah. show a lot more of Definitely. the game. Definitely, it's a, it's in a very early stage right now. The game is so uh, yeah. exactly. So, but and yeah, as time as time goes on, we'll definitely show some more, yes, some more content. Yeah. We've got a we've got a question from the audience. Uh, will there be cats in Red's Quest? <laughs> I think uh, so. technically speaking, cats plural. What are we gonna cats say? Cats plural. No. <laughs> cats plural. You could just have cats plural. No. Just say <laughs> just say yes, and then you know you still write and even. If it's yeah. not cats, maybe it's just a cat. Okay. Then okay. You still answer the question, so it's all good. <laughs> there is a cat. Yeah, there definitely definitely, is a cat. Uh, yeah. There's this cat, the claw. You can read about him uh, at the um, fact of a rat twist on Discord. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of info uh, that you can find there. But yes, it is good yeah, to cat. this cat that it's gonna make everything turn upside down yeah and it's more than just like an obstacle it's it's a character for sure and and it does play an important role in the story oh, so cool. curious so curious i that's, mean 
I already saw a little bit of it. Yeah, you're not. But um, <laughs> yeah, so curious to see it in the game and all of this coming together. So I guess yeah. it will be mm-hmm. very, very awesome. Okay, what else do we have up to talk about? Just we could talk we about the game uh, forever, yeah. I would suppose, but we will have a dedicated stream for that. So mm-hmm. maybe we should, you know, tone it down a little. Um, maybe we can. What were like the biggest hurdles, um, especially when we're coming back to game development in Mexico? Like, what when when you founded your company and everything was set and you had the, the, the contract with the publisher? So what were like the, the biggest obstacles that you had to you know encounter from not only like from a development side maybe but also from from um, like organization or office space and um, how are you you guys handling that? So is it uh, something that was difficult or was it like oh we didn't think about this we didn't think about that and oh uh, now we have to be quick or was it more like yep we have a plan we do it like this 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 and no problem or is it is there a little bit of cliche in there that you'd be like okay um oh. mexico there there was there's a lot of temperament and passion going so um okay so here's the thing <laughs> in, in terms of the, the administrative stuff it wasn't uh any uh, any trouble because we've been uh working as haiku studio too many hmm. years so we had everything like okay we know ah, like this. Okay. but uh for example when we have to register the new name of the Romarians, it was like but you can't uh, here in mexico like say oh this is a video game development studio it's like yeah we do software yeah you have to do, like <laughs> ah, okay. around this category and this category just like to find a way that it's it's what it is but still it's not like contemplated legally in a way but those kind of hurts were, were like yeah and also um bring he uh people to the grammarians i mean um three of the guys for example are from from the very north part of mexico from ciudad juarez chihuahua the northern mm-hmm. yeah it's really okay. it's like more than 24 hours driving oh, yeah so it's okay yeah. <laughs> yes we're doing like from here and from there and just like looking at people here and there and uh it's crazy because uh, due to the whole um health situation right now everybody's like strewn back across in a way but yeah that was definitely a moment yeah. of just like seeing who we wanted to work with and who wanted to work with us that was definitely difficult but super exciting in a way mm-hmm. and super that's great Great. Aside from that, I mean, we could say like breaking into the industry, proverbially speaking, and, <laughs> of course. and not seeing like the events and what was our first GC like, and our first friends from from abroad that were you know like mm-hmm. already in there and that kind of thing. It's it was definitely difficult. Although I would never say that it was harder for us than for any other developer anywhere else in the world. Great. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Oh, bless, bless you. you. <laughs> bless you. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Awesome. So good talking to you guys. Yeah. I think we should. Do you have anything more on your on your heart on your mind? Uh, we've been asked. We've we've been asking another question from the audience. It's a quick one. Is it? Will there be cheese? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I, yes. I, I think um, without any spoilers, we can say yes. <laughs> Absolutely. There, there will be, will be cheese. cheese. Yeah. And awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. There will be cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Other than that, lots of cheese. I I think uh, everybody's happy to have met you for the first time. I mean, many many of them for the first time. Okay. We we already we already met a couple times. <laughs> yes. And yes. Uh, and we will in the future. And um, yeah, tomorrow we got some uh, we got some more stuff prepared concerning the game a little bit more itself mm-hmm. um, but yeah the dreamarians yeah thank you so much for having us part yeah. of the family happy to have you thank yes. you for being here it was a pleasure talking for and you that- uh, <laughs> talking with you sorry that's the word <laughs> <laughs> awesome awesome yeah as bro was saying thank you for having us we're not just talking about the streaming we're talking a lot oh, about this handy games the dreamarians Absolutely. Relationship from the heart. Aww. Yeah. Yeah. 
Awesome. Same, same goes awesome. to you guys. So awesome. can, I, can I even do this? Yeah, I, I, I can. <laughs> my, my heart is a little bit uglier than yours, <laughs> but uh, you, you got it. Down, it still comes down. from the heart, my heart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steffi is also uh, writing, we love you. There's, yeah. there's lots of yeah. hype uh, in yeah. the chat already. Lots of love in chat. That's great. Yeah, we will also awesome. see a little bit more of the game. Yes. Uh, most of you will see like highly in development stuff, but this is also like very interesting. But mm. We will also have some some new assets here and there that we might show and uh, you know tease a little bit here mm -hmm. and there. But mm. that's it for I would say now. So yes. thanks again, Jesse and yeah. Rob from the Dumerians. And I would say yeah, let's get some it. rest. Take Get a nap. Some rest, take a nap. <laughs> exactly. You, you deserve it. And, uh, yeah. and we'll be talking okay. to you tomorrow. Thank you so much. So take care. We'll See do. Ya. Bye bye. See ya. Thank you so much. Take care, guys. <laughs>